wonderful community in continuation of the last video where i talked about the causes of bit matching error in a way of providing solution i'm putting up a series of video regarding how to fix this problem the part one is already there however in this particular video we are going to be talking about the part two which is bpm syncing if you look at the track that are currently playing now you see 132.86 and you can also see the same thing at the also other side so before you be able to have this perfect syncing of the bpm it means you will need to get this information available at your fingertips that means you must find a way to generate this information from the two tracks that you are going to be syncing whether they are two or irrespective of the number of tracks you are having after accessing the folder where you have these tracks you first need to come to this very point you see in my own case by the time i click bpm you can see the arrangement of the bpm in an ascending order or you can make it in descending order but before this information are available for you here especially if you are just starting you need to highlight all the tracks that is by ctrl a then you click this very point you see file operation then you get to see batch then you select analyze for bpm so by the time you analyze for bpm all this information are going to be here for you but if they are not there don't worry just right click on this point you get to see you pick the necessary information that you want whether they learn the bpm and the key as well as the harmonic key so or by the time you do it this way you get to see all this necessary information you can see the harmonic key is also here so this will give you all this necessary information that will make it possible for you to see exactly what is going on and for you to sync there are two major ways of syncing these two tracks you can do them automatically by by the moment you drag any track to the deck all you need to do is you click on the sync button it automatically sync with the other deck or you can drag it manually for those who are using the controllers that means those deck that have individual separation you have to do it manually because there is no strong connection between the two tracks so you are trying to build a strong connection where those individual elements will work perfectly as you play around with it i believe at this very point you now have a clear understanding of one major thing that you need to do because look at it the bpm are there then possibly subsequently i'm going to be bringing more points i believe this video is really of help to you because the bpm will make it possible for you to have a synchronization between the two tracks so at this point we'll continue with our enjoyment and our fun so catch you in my next video as we as i continue to bring you more don't forget to keep a date as this video is handful of information that you really get to appreciate <laughs> Yeah.